don't think about it. No, that would seriously like make my ear. <clears throat> he said, give me a shout out. He's a new friend of mine on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, I'll shut you out. And then I said to him, I said, well, what do I get out of it? I'm going to shut you out. Well, what do I get in return? He's like, well, what do you want? Tell me what you want. And uh, I'll think about it. I'm, uh... <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. Welcome to my eating show. Welcome to my mukbang. I'm back home. shooby doo I'm home. I'm not going to sing that song anymore. No. Because I looked under yesterday's video and a bunch of you were like, Nick, stop singing the song. You sing it too much. So I'm not going to sing it today. I'm just not going to have an intro. Maybe that'll make you guys happier. Because it had like 30 likes the last time I looked at it. And I don't want to make you guys mad. I want everyone to like me because I'm a narcissist. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my show. Um, today I'm having chili. Um, I'm also going to add some cheese because, you know, I love cheese. Oh, wait. I can't sing that song either. I'm joking. Okay. This here is cornbread. I have some cornbread over here. And today's video is shout out to Mikey from Instagram. My new friend over there. <laughs> Let's see if he said anything. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. That better be a joke. I mean, I might think about it. I should be in that video though, cause I think that would be like a really great video. Oh my God, he's so cute. Don't worry, Orlin, all right, D sh listen. <laughs> People are like, Nick, you and Orlin are finally working things out. You're no longer divorced. Well, we never actually got divorced. We were like going through a big fight, separation, threatening divorce. Okay, let's make it clear. Um, no, 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 what actually helps us, me and my husband, is if we're like vocal and we communicate. You're like, this person flirted with me. I flirted about, do you think he's cute? Yeah, I think he's cute. Well, don't do anything. Okay, well, okay, you know, like, don't worry, there's no secrets. Orlin's probably watching this video, but it doesn't matter because he already knows. Orlin actually has access to my Instagram. He has my password, so he, it's on his phone, so he can flop back and forth from his Instagram account to my Instagram account. So there's no secrets. Whatever, people flirt with him too, and he flirts back, and it, I'm just, it's flattering, trust me. It makes, makes you feel good in life that you're wanted, and it makes you like your partner more because you know that they're still so hot that everyone wants them and they're yours, okay? Okay, so, <laughs> welcome to my eating show. We're gonna be having chili, I'm gonna get some cheese, and we're gonna begin the feast. Let's go. This is gonna be a very chill eating show. Because I'm a very chill person. Mmm. <laughs> I can be. I have multiple sides to me. Sometimes I'm crazy and dramatic, Sometimes I am literally crazy. And then other times I'm chill. I have to tell you about what happened yesterday. Mmm. First, let's lower this table. It's too high. You guys, yesterday was probably the craziest mukbang I've ever done. And this crazy mukbang, I don't know if I'm going to release before or after this video, so I'm not going to tell you what I did, but it involves a lot of butter. A lot of butter. So I'm just going to do this much cornbread for now. This here is ice cold water. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoy your meal. Okay, so I'm gonna eat, this is like the serving bowl. My family already ate, and they're like, Nick, have the rest, do a mukbang with it. My mom made this, by the way, this is homemade. I think I said that in the beginning, homemade chili, and I added cheese, because they didn't do cheese, so I'm gonna call it chili cheese. I love chili, I never have it though. Sh sh shout out to my mom for making this. Mmm, and I'm gonna eat in this bowl. Okay, so like I was saying, Yesterday was crazy. I have never felt so sick from a mukbang ever in my entire life. Ever. And I do this professionally. <laughs> I eat for a living. Seriously, I will... I've done three mukbangs in a day before. Like, if I'm really busy and I know I have plans, or I have to pre-record because of whatever reason, I'll film a bunch and get them over within the day. And by the end of it, by the way, I'm not doing butter, and you'll you'll explain. I, you'll hear why. You know, by the end of the day, I don't feel that great, but I'm not like dying or anything. You know, it's just a lot a lot of salt. That's really it. Mmm. Mmm. You know what people do? They take their cornbread and they put it into their chili. Mmm. That is sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. So, I do mukbangs professionally. 
nine, 99% of the time, the food doesn't phase me. People think that I can't sleep or that I'm running to the bathroom five times a day or that I, I'm constipated and I never go. People think all these things that, you know, mm, it's understandable considering how much I eat and all this kind of stuff. But in general, I don't have problems with food. Yeah, I gained like 50 pounds since I started this thing, but... I was also really skinny when I started. I'm happy with my weight. I mean, I could lose like 10 pounds, but I don't really care. Orlin likes me on the chunkier side anyway, so... Easier for me, I get to eat more. <laughs> but... Yesterday's video was like no other. So I don't know when I'm putting it out. I don't know if it's gonna come out before this, after this, around the same time. So I'm not gonna say what it is, but it involves a lot of butter. You guys, 12 sticks of butter. 12 sticks. I didn't eat all 12 sticks. I probably ate five or six sticks, maybe five sticks worth. I thought I was going to die last night. I've never, even Heart Attack Grill. You know that video I did, Heart Attack Grill? I felt like I had a great meal after that. Like I didn't feel like I was dying. I think I was really full, but you know, in a couple hours you digest it goes away. This, I was praying to Lord Jesus last night. I was saying, please don't let me go yet. I'm not ready to die. I could not feel my arms. I could not feel my fingers. I couldn't feel my toes, my legs. I couldn't feel like half my body and my heart was sluggish. My breathing was heavy. <gasps> oh my God. Mmm. This is good. What's in here? Celeries or onions or two types of beans, corn, tomato paste, tomato sauce. Mmm. I want more corn. Oh, cornbread. It really adds to it. So. I'm not having butter on my cornbread, because yesterday I almost died from butter. Paula Dean, how do you do it? I'm just gonna use my hands. I don't really care. Do you? <laughs> I, oh my God. Mm. And you'll see tomorrow, or the next day. I don't know when I'm posting it, like I said. You'll see. When it comes out, you'll be like, oh, that's what his, it's gonna go on my main channel. Today, when I woke up, I was debating whether I should have food or not. Should I eat? Well, should I fast? Should I skip the eating today? I was that afraid. And then I ended up steaming some spinach around 5 p.m. It's now 8. This is my first meal. I'm going to go real light. I'm not eating all this. You know, this is very high vegetables. Um, it probably has a lot of sodium, but still. I don't think there's any oil. There's no butter. I added a little cheese for that cheese pool, but that's it. I'm not adding more cheese. I'm going to have another bag of steamed spinach before I go to bed, and that's going to be it. Low calorie, high vegetables, the beans, fiber. Mmm. This is good. This is very good. When you add the cornbread, it just takes it to a whole other level. Mmm. I actually Googled, what do people eat chili with? Mmm. Because I wasn't sure... I didn't want to just have chili on its own. Hot dogs, corn dogs, chicken, fried chicken, all of these things, they eat chili with. I, and then I saw cornbread and my parents had already gotten this, so I'm like, yeah. Mmm. With the cornbread, I'm gonna show you up close. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. If you guys ever eat this, eat it with the cornbread. Seriously. So I'm thankful to be alive. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen in my sleep. Never, ever have I felt this way, ever. 
and I've done many mukbangs, even the 10,000 calorie challenge, I just felt very full from that, and it was just sodium. If it weren't for the sodium, that 10,000 calorie challenge wouldn't have been that big of a deal for me, because I did it twice. Um, the hardest part was all that sodium. You feel like there's too much sodium in your body. This was not a sodium problem. This was my, my arteries were shutting down. My circulation, I has, it has never felt that bad, ever. Oh my god. I hope it pays off. I mean, it was delicious. It was really fun. I don't think I'm ever going to do it again. So, long story short, I'm recovering. This is my healthy meal. I actually wasn't planning on eating anything. I thought about having fish. You know, salmon's been scientifically proven to lower bad fat, increase your good fats, good for your artery health. Tons of peer-reviewed science to really back it up. You know, that's, you know. You need some good fat to help the bad fat go away, rather than not eating fat at all. And I really want some avocado today, and I didn't have any. I have to go buy more. The problem with avocado, then you have to wait for it to ripen, too. But, um, I ended up not having fish yet. I might have a little piece of salmon before I go to bed, but... Other than that, this is all I'm eating. And half a thing of cornbread. <laughs> I know! <sighs> Listen. This isn't that salty. I mean, it's good, but it's not... It doesn't taste... You know, when you eat some, like, really, you know. Mmm. That was good. If this table flies down into the paint can. Do you hear that? So the table's sitting on paint cans. So that's elevated so that you can see me. Um, if one of the lids pops from the way the table, there's going to be paint. It's just going to come up like this, like a volcano. I'm going to explode. Blowed everywhere. Mm. We all love a nice explosion, but not that one. Speaking of explosion, I found about I found out about some drama today. What time is it? Mm. Shout out to um Jane was her name on Twitter. Thank you for DMing me. I was bored today on Twitter. Well, and Instagram. I seriously, I'll like DM you guys randomly, be like, hi, how are you? And you'd be like, really? I'd be like, yeah, I'm saying hi, what's up? Talk to me, because I'm bored. Orland's very busy right now. He's looking for work. He's been with his family, driving all around Florida. Helping his brother with his homework. They called people the other day to, like, help with the power lines to his, his apartment, like, He's busy, so, you know, and I, I slept until noon, published my video, took another nap for two hours. I mean, that, that butter feast knocked me out. Ooh. But anyways, I found out about some drama today. I think it's so interesting. I kind of want to talk about it. I'm torn. You know, sometimes you want to express yourself and you're like, but what if it causes drama? But then you have to say to yourself... Well, if you're reacting to something that someone else did, you're not causing drama. They put it out there in the first place. Like, but I don't know. I just, I've been so vocal about other mukbang channels. I'm like, why would I not talk about this person? I have a lot, I have a lot to say about this person, but I really haven't really said anything much. Um, there's been a couple little things here and there. They did this, then, then they did this, and then... You know, it helps that you guys watch for me when people talk about me or shade me. And I'm not there. But everyone will send me DMs, Snapchats. You can record on your iPhone. One, two, three. Boom. You're recording it. They don't know. They go live on the Instagram story and talk about me. And I mean, just different things. I'm not saying this person's done all these things. I'm just saying an example. I'm just anything in life. Nowadays, there's a lot of eyes watching around, okay? I might talk about, but in a different video. Not this video. Today's a relaxing, chill video. But I would like to state my opinion. I need more water. 
I would love to state my opinion. Because it kind of involves me, and I can relate, and I feel like it would be good for you guys to hear. So anyways, there's a mukbanger who was flagging people's videos for talking about them. And I'm like, you know me. I am the most talked about mukbanger on YouTube, and not for good reasons. Who else has this many hate videos made about them? I can't think of a single one. Even Trisha, who really does push the boundaries by being extreme, and she... No one makes videos about her anymore. They used to back when she first started YouTube. When she said, what was it? She didn't think dogs had brains, and she said all these crazy things. Um, she had SEX with a dead person. Things like that. I mean, yeah, people reacted to it, but no one's reacting to her anymore. So anyways, as of the last year or two, I'm the most talked about one. I'm used to people talking crap about me. Trust me, and I can't imagine the amount of energy that would go to, go into um, filing copyright lawsuits against people. Because they talked about you, it's like, well, you're on YouTube. If you don't want people to talk about you, don't be on YouTube. And see, I couldn't understand if it's really hurtful. I've been there. In the past, I've flagged a few videos like... Someone made a whole video about me being like really, really fat. And at the time I was really not okay with my weight gain. Now I don't care. I mean, look at this double chin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. It is what it is. I know weight goes up and down. I know how to lose weight. I don't feel like it right now. Whatever, this is what I do. But um, at the time I was really sensitive to it. I'm like, oh, I've never been so fat before. And this person made a really mean video about me. And I filed for dispute. And then I retracted it. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do this. Because it's technically, once you file for a copyright complaint, you're entering a legal, excuse me, a legal matter. Um, and this mukbanger who flagged people's videos, the videos were not even bad. They were like really cute and innocent. I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Again, you're talking to someone who has experienced the worst amount of videos made about him him ever me these other mukbang channels are not getting hateful videos in the way i am let's be honest here and this video that had been made about this person was like i thought it was really funny it was very like light-hearted and so when i when i found out that um she's doing like attempting lawsuits for it i'm like the f the fuck you know like what Some serious insecurities must be going on. I don't know. I've never really... Listen, you have to make me really mad if I'm going to speak bad about you. This person hasn't really made me that mad. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I was hoping that the ice would have melted. Can you guys see me okay? <sighs> well, literally, this video is only going to be like 10 minutes. It's going to be really short and to the point because I need to relax. I need to... This is all I'm eating. Mm. This is all I am eating for today. <laughs> it's fun to flirt. I mean, if it's very innocent, too. And you're comfortable with yourself and you're getting, or you are comfortable in your relationship. I mean, it just. Mm. It's also too, I know I've talked about this before, like flirting and texting and sexting and all these things people do. And um, for me, I never thought I was really that attractive of a person. I'm just going to be honest. In high school and college, I thought I was pretty average looking. I wasn't like this beautiful model and I've never had abs um not like I really I th there was a point in time I really wanted abs now I look at abs I'm like ugh. I don't I personally don't if if I can see your abs and your veins and your arms I'm not I'm not as into it I don't know <clears throat> but that's besides the point the point is I've never identified as being like really attractive and it, I think that um, now that I'm on YouTube and I have a following and people know about me all of a sudden 
I feel like people might find me or and this goes for anyone that they see as like a superstar or a YouTube star or an actual celebrity. I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, but you are a son. They're way more appealing you to you in various aspects had they not been famous, had they not been a public figure, had they not been well known. I think I talked about Whoopi Goldberg made a really good point about this. You know, she came out and was like, I'm not this beautiful model with long skinny legs. Who wants to have the hots for me? And Whoopi, do you know who I'm talking about? She's a famous actress. And she said, once I got into the film industry, you know, she's like, I could be this big. I could be rolling off the chair and people still want to get with me. They want to flirt with me because I'm Whoopi Goldberg. Ha if I was just a regular person walking down the street and I didn't have this name attached to me, no one look would look twice. So it really feels, it helps my confidence, you know, when, um, I don't know, when people said that, say that they like me or, um, cause I grew up not having that confidence and, um, I always thought I was either average or honestly below average. I was like, no, I didn't like my teeth for a long time. I always wanted braces from far away. They don't, they don't look bad. But up close, they're, Orlin calls them, they're doing ballerina twirls. Because I'm Russian, and Russia's known for ballet. He's like, you're, you're, what's up with your crooked teeth? Um, and, not, and not in a mean way, like poking fun. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was never really that comfortable in my body. Uh, just, you know, things like that. And now it just feels good to, like, know that people find me desirable. You know, can you guys relate to that? Here's how you can relate to it. You're at the workplace. Let's think of like, you work for AT&T and you're in cubicles. And um, the person next to you, they're average looking. You do the same job. All of a sudden, the person next to you gets promoted to be your boss. Now, oh honey, you'd be on your knees in a minute. <laughs> Say you were already friends or like, you know, it's one of those people would be like, you know, if I was drunk, I would get that. You know, if I was drunk enough, I would get that person. You know what I mean? And now they have, now they have this new allure to them, this new aspect that makes you look, ooh, you know, like being a, a position of power. That's similar for you guys as like, you know, say your neighbor down the street, you're really good friends with, you like them, and all of a sudden they become famous because they're in the star of a movie that won an Oscar. Now, everyone knows them, everyone loves them, they're rich, and now you're just like, yes, I want to get with you. Yeah, you know, it's just like a very interesting thing. Uh, I still wonder why people even watch me to begin with. Um, I just talk. <laughs> I just talk and eat. And so that in itself, not even talking about like the flirting and, you know, the attracted and stuff. Um, when I used to do You Now, there was a girl from Japan who used to write fan fiction about me. Do you know what fan fiction is? It's when people who are fans of celebrities, YouTubers, they write e erotic, exotic stories about being with them. And I mean erotic, like crazy. This is a kid's show, don't, so don't worry. I'm not going to go into details, but adults, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and are these people all like really, really attractive? They're probably all just average, or maybe some of them are below average, but uh, since you're a fan of them and you like them for them, their personality, the fact that they have followers, all of a sudden you start imagining things in your head, you have fantasies with them about the... <laughs> so I remember I was streaming live on You Now and her name was Natalie, I think. Hi Natalie, if you're watching. She, she sent me links to her f fan fiction and she is imagining doing all of these things with me and Orlin, involving multiple objects and multiple locations. <laughs> I'm like, why are people imagining about doing that, number one, in general? <laughs> I'm joking, no, people imagine everything. But with me, why me? Like, why? And that's what really started to pick up on me. It's like, okay, these are not just like people that watch me. These are people that love me. Well, not all of them, I have a lot of haters, but some of them just imagine really intense erotic things with me and Orlin. Orlin was included. And I remember I started talking about, oh, sorry, it turned off. Don't worry. I'm going to get going in a minute, but I remember talking about this in my live stream and I was like, 
wow, this is interesting. And so many people in the live stream are just like, oh yeah, I've thought about it too. Or, oh, I'm not gonna lie. My friends and I talked about what, how, maybe how big you are or all this. I'm like, and these are girls too. I'm like, wow. You know, it's just like, see, I'm a very open person too. If I make a mistake, if I'm gonna tell you, you know what I mean? I, I've been open about literally everything. Seriously, like, you, you're gonna hear it from me, from myself. So I'm open enough to tell you how this is making me feel because I just feel like you're an everyday person who's, who's making videos. But to know that there's people out there that are saying these things about me, making fan fiction about me. You type in my name on Google and you go to other blogs, tumblers, uh, people writing stuff about me or going into my videos and looking to see if they can see me in shorts and like zooming in to my area up. And these are girls and boys from all over the world. I'm like, oh. it just is the weirdest most confidence building thing <laughs> I have ever experienced. Yeah, <clears throat> like it, it feels really good. It's shocking. It makes me a little more self-conscious, but also it's like, well, I kind of like it. Like, <sighs> I'm just being honest. I feel like a lot of you would understand what I'm going through if you went through this, <laughs> but try to maybe, you know, like I said, the analogy of you at the workplace and your best friend, who you would kind of be into is all of a sudden now your boss. Well, now you really want to please them and you know, you know so, um, yeah, <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I'm in general, just, <sighs> I'm still recovering from the butter fiasco, the butter chaos that happened yesterday. And I feel like this is all I'm going to eat today. I'm going to go to sleep early and tomorrow I'm going to be well rested. Hopefully all the butter should be out of my system. I'm going to have another pack of spinach. I like to steam my spinach and that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.